Peter. Peter, Peter, Peter. Supposedly animal rights activists. Yeah, they kill as many animals as it, uh, slaughterhouses do. <sighs> Sad. And now they're after Steve Irwin. Well, his son. They've already been after him. At least a certain Isaac Butterfield will have something to say about it. Let's watch it. Good day, you good humans. It's the Buttsman here, and it's time for the most trusted piece of news in the entire globe. In fact, it shits all over everybody else. It's time for the Butterfield Broadcast News Service Systems. Hit the music. But before we head into the ridiculousness and the outrageousness of the news over the past week, it's time we heard from this video sponsor, the great people, the amazing people, the only people that I ever choose for internet security. It's time to talk about Surfshark VPN. Honestly, it doesn't matter where you're using the internet all over the globe, whether it's in a hotel or a cafe, you need to be able to protect yourself. Of course. And a VPN is the best way to do that. Surfshark VPN encrypts your data VPN. so it protects I've all your information. Uh, Information, including shark, banking information. Video. So it stops VPN those naughty soy and, uh, boy criminals coming after your one? details. But it also Tunnel allows you no, to access there. restricted content. Um, so you know what that means? That means if you're in Australia thing. and you want to watch the US version of Netflix, you can. And I didn't even know this until recently, but you can get better prices on things like airfares depending yeah. on where your IP address is based. Yeah. So with Surfshark VPN, you can actually change your IP address to a better place. With better prices. Yeah. Oh my god. But honestly, this is the best bit Cheating and still this shocks me. These guys look after people. If you enter the code Buttsman, you will get 83% off. Yeah. And 83? one month for free. Surfshark VPN supports me, this channel, off. and the videos that you enjoy, so make sure you support them. In presidential news, the race for the 2020 election in America is heating up, and Joe Biden is yeah, making a complete uh, dick of himself. He is well and truly fucked himself right now. I don't care if you don't like American politics, whatever. Just watch this video, because it's absolutely amazing. You should challenge students in these schools to have advanced placement programs in these schools. We have this notion that somehow if you're poor, you cannot do it. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Oh, Joe, like a weird old racist uncle just throws something horrifying in there yeah. and plays it off like nothing ever happened. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. That's so I guess the, one uh, would assume just as bright and just as talented as rich certainty kids. That Joe's not going to get anywhere near the rich house. Sorry, the white house. <laughs> See what I did there? But this isn't the first time yeah. Joe's done something pretty fucking weird. There was this time. <laughs> there was also this time. <laughs> and there was this time. Okay. What the fuck? Joe, yeah. stop it. In sporting news, Australia cricket has decided in their infinite wisdom to do something completely ridiculous. They're going to allow transgendered athletes to play in whatever gender team they want. Now, I know I've spoken about this yeah, a lot, and no. I think you know my opinion on transgender people. If it makes you happy, do it, but don't affect other people, particularly their health and well-being. And this, yeah. this is a situation like where that MMA, uh... happens. This means that men... This means that people yeah, who like are born MMA, male will be able to transition against and play female. against females. And potentially take uh, the spots this one lady of got female a skull players who have worked hard in a their fight entire with a former life. male. And vice versa, well, probably not vice versa. I don't think there's like, going to be I don't any even females she to transition that. to male and then make it to the male teams. And the reason for that is because men and women are born completely differently. Yeah. It's our bone structure. It's our bone density. It's our muscle mass. It's our speed and power. There yeah. are big differences. And that's why it's not safe for trans athletes to compete against yeah. people playing under the gender they were born with. And the reason I say it's not safe attributes. is because, take for example Philip Hughes. He was killed after being struck with a ball that was bowled by a man. Now that wasn't the bowler's fault, it's just what happens sometimes, there's horrifying accidents. But I think yeah. the likelihood of someone being hit with a very fast bouncer, a ball that hits the ground and bounces up to the head, is probably more likely in the male side of the sport. What happens if this does actually occur? A man transitions into a woman, goes out, bowls a bouncer, and kills a woman worse. who was born a woman. 
do we react? Or do we just think that that's not politically correct to act in any way and we go, oh well, such a shame. It's much like a combat sport. It's dangerous and unfair to naturally born women. But hey, you gotta get woke. And to be honest, thank yeah. fuck this didn't happen when Shane Warne was playing cricket because there wouldn't be any ball tampering going on. There'd be a fair bit of fingering though. Uh, but I guess that's not as bad as getting fingered by uh, old Billy Bowden. But in tonight's top story, Peter, yeah, it should the be animal activist former, group who are just the biggest men pieces against of shit men in and the entire world are the back in the news. Men and they're just doing women. this shit to stay relevant because and that's what they fucking do. And this time they're going after the Australian legend Steve Irwin's son, Robert Irwin. The animal rights abuse that they are suggesting happened, happened on Jimmy Fallon. And the... What did they do now? Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen. What they are suggesting happened is what so they do now? so horrendous. I'm surprised that Robert Irwin's allowed to even walk on free on the streets. Let me take him. Let me take a breath, because this is just heinous. Robert Irwin allowed now? Jimmy Fallon and people in the audience to pat animals. Oh, my God. This little guy so here... This is little Sebastian. Like, <laughs> he's a little miniature horse. Oh, little Sebastian, you're welcome to hold that bottle if you'd like. Sure. Loves his So he doesn't mind. You know, he's you, just you a need baby. to be able to treat... <laughs> <laughs> She's sitting on him. Oh, I know, right, how fucking disgusting and oh, disgraceful. I'm shocked. Shock horror. I'm going to spew. I can't believe it. Absolutely. I wonder if anyone in oh, Peter do you know what happens a, when animals you know, get like patted? Oh, I found these. I'll, I'll show you. I found some videos of animals getting patted. Look at that. Oh, it's horrible. They're having a terrible time. Oh, oh my God. They're screaming. Oh, it's like... Oh, it's like a... It's like a Saw yeah. movie. Oh my God, Someone this is horrendous. Oh, the humanity. Will somebody think of the children? Fuck off, Peter. Surely the work that the Irwins have done for conservation of animals on this planet... Yeah, some of the best in the world. ...sort the fact that these animals were a little bit scared in front of a studio audience. Think of the big picture here, you fucking cocksuckers. Yeah. Go back to wearing masks in the middle of the street and just being a nuisance that everyone laughs at. Everyone thinks you are an absolute laughing stock of the community. Yeah. How does that feel? Be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East. Media extinct. And don't forget, I'm on tour at the moment. All over the country. I'm going to every single state, every single city. And I'm going everywhere all over the globe. It's absolutely insane, ladies and gentlemen. I can't believe it. Mm, and I need to take a breath. Otherwise, I'm going to pass out. So you bloody me dick stinks. I don't know if I've said it already. Toodaloo. Wop, wop, bye. No, that was short. Nope. No more ads. Yeah. I'll cut the recording. <laughs> You know what? Uh, nope. Anyways, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.